Bangladeshi police have been telling us that uh, a group of what they say were about five or six attackers approached the home of a 35-year-old man identified as Julhash Manon. And one of them went in posing as some kind of a delivery uh, a service person, was allowed in, and then evidently the rest of the people went in and then murdered this man, uh, as well as a second Bangladeshi citizen who has not yet been identified. Now, there was an altercation as the attackers then tried to flee the scene, and in fact, there was some kind of confrontation with police, and police tell us that one police officer was wounded uh, as the attackers were fleeing. Now, the victim who's been identified th thus far, the U.S. Embassy in Dhaka has put out a statement condemning the attack. The U.S. ambassador writing, quote, I am devastated by the brutal murder of Julhas Manan and another young Bangladeshi this evening in Dhaka. Uh, Julhas was more than a colleague to those of us fortunate to work with him at the U.S. Embassy. He was a dear friend. We abhor this senseless act of violence and urge the government of Bangladesh in the strongest terms to apprehend the criminals behind these murders. So clearly, uh, this man and, and a second Bangladeshi being killed, sending ripples through the U.S. Embassy, where this man was an employee at USAID, uh, the aid agency, and previously described as a former chief protocol officer to the former ambassador of that embassy.